part of being a Muslim is to understand others and to understand others much better. And because it is not just Muslims that live in the world, there are many not small Muslims that, uh, that are spread across the whole world. Um, and in order to create a more peaceful society, you have to engage with them. Um, and this is in fact a religious obligation that the Quran calls us to, uh, to carry out. The initiative is to highlight the true message and the true face of Islam, which unfortunately has been corrupted by uh, various groups who claim to be um, Islamic organizations. Um, and so unfortunately, because of not just the way in which the media portrays Islam, unfortunately, but also the way in which Muslims themselves conduct themselves, um, the public has a very negative perception of Islam. So anything that really highlights the true peaceful message of Islam, as it was practiced by its founder, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, is, is a good thing. Any Muslim that acts against the very teachings of Islam is obviously something that upsets us. Uh, and we have a duty to make sure that they're educated uh, and that they become aware that what they are doing or what they are uh, uh, saying or what they are doing does not represent the Islam that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought and taught. So we have a duty to remind them, to educate them and to urge them to make sure that their understanding of Islam is rectified, which we believe we have been divinely guided in order to uh, conduct in this age through our successors, known as the Caliphs. But again, the choice is the other Muslims, whether they want to listen to that message or not. If they do, well and good, and we believe they've been rescued from ruin. But unfortunately, the large majority that have chosen to ignore that message, unfortunately, are the ones that are finding themselves in a very desperate uh, situation that we, that we observe today.